start out running a quick base of thread. And then I'm going to add in my chartreuse wire. Lash that down all the way up the hook shank. Then we're going to tie in a little clump of marabou. And we're going to tie this in forward for our last step to complete the fly. Just going to tie that in right off the eye of the hook. Trim off the tag there. Then I'm going to add my eyes and I'm going to rotate the hook upside down, putting the eyes on the bottom. That way it won't fight to try to roll itself over, even though these are not heavy eyes. It should be secure. Taking the thread right back to the rear tie-in point. Then we're going to grab our marabou stem. I've prepped that just a little bit. And tail length is going to be about the length of the shank of the hook or slightly larger, slightly longer. Six good turns to tighten that down. Now this marabou here is going to be my body. I'm going to give it a couple twists just to sort of keep it together. And then when I wrap it, I also wrap it underneath my tying thread. That also helps to keep my wraps in a nice smooth line. We're going to take that right up behind the eyes. I'm going to bring my thread forward. I'm going to bring it over and up right in front of the eyes. And then we're going to tie it off right there. Trim off my tag. And we've got the chartreuse wire here just to kind of strengthen this marabou so it doesn't get tore up by the first toothy critter that hopefully eats it. I'm going to bring that through right underneath. Now this little tuft of marabou that we had at the start, I'm just going to kind of fold that back and then build my head right in front of it. Now when this gets wet, of course, it's just going to add a little bit more action to the, the fly there. So there we just have a simple little marabou damsel.